Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Thursday, June 7th. And we're going to we're going to mimic my weeklies for next week, okay? Just we're we'll kind of mimic them. We're not, you know, a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to get two oracle cards and reveal them at the end at least unless it flips over, okay? This is for all signs, a daily energy. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. We're all at different levels. This may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, then it just wasn't meant to be. If it does, great. And if you would like a private reading, the information is below. This is for all signs. I do have to mention, as I'm mentioning in my weeklies, I did get an email today from some lady who thought her opinion was the only opinion that mattered. And I wanted to clear that up, that I could care less about your opinion about how I do my readings. And if I wanted your opinion, I would surely ask. She uh, didn't said that I, she's very spiritual. She knows a lot spiritually. And that we don't need you to shuffle. Are we? Huh? What? I don't, huh? We? Are you me? Are you you? What? Hmm? Huh? Who? Ha? Huh? No. This is for all signs. Daily vibe. We will reveal it at the end. This ought to be interesting for the daily vibe, getting two oracle cards and revealing them at the end. We will see what comes up. Thursday, June 7th. Please keep all comments underneath kind. I don't want to hear any bashing of other signs. Keep that shit out of the comments. Daily vibes. What do we have for today? Reality. Somebody is, uh, there's a reality check here. Their truth is being revealed, perhaps, about a situation. But there could be still some worry, some worry about this reveal. Okay. This could have something to do with a relationship. It could have to do with, is this person I'll talk? Are they telling me the truth? Is this words? Is it words? Are they being real with me? Are you really being, is this real? Is this too good to be true? You could be coming together with someone, working together, working as a team. There could be mutual appreciation for one another. Um, communication. Communication. Oh, there is some sort of betrayal here. Somebody's feeling betrayed. There's been a loss of romance or a loss of relationship growth or something like that. Or somebody fears it. Somebody fears that there will be no growth or there'll be no romance or there'll be no love. What if, what if they don't love me? Wanting communication. You might have to make some compromises here. Whew. Wow. Somebody is letting go of an obsession, letting go, releasing, no longer going to resist this change, finding the strength, the confidence, the willpower to accept the reality that has been holding them back, causing them to be depressed, causing them to feel down and depressed and worried and paranoid. I'm just going to accept the truth of this situation. I have the confidence and the strength and the willpower to to let it go. I'm just going to let it go.
So yeah, someone is making a conscious change to work together with another person. I'm, I want to work with you here. I want to make this work. There's been a feeling of misjudging, okay? Misjudging a situation. Somebody has misjudged another person. And now they are making a conscious change to work together again. I, I, I see that we have the ability to let this go, whatever it was, and, and work together. There's been some sort of hurt that has probably forced someone to make a conscious change. Okay? Somebody has had to let drop something. I have to drop it. We, just, we have to drop it so that we can move forward. Okay, so that we can, you know, get somewhere. There's been, there could have been some sort of uh, discouragement, loss of faith in a relationship. You know, there's been some sort of um, a loss of hope. A loss of hope, a loss of, of uh, happiness because somebody was holding on to some sort of illusion or confusion. They were. They were holding on to some sort of worry that wasn't serving them. And I feel like somebody is, is letting go, finding the strength to look at this from the reality of it and stop resisting and just let it happen. I'm just going to let this happen. I'm no longer going to try to fight it. I'm going to let this happen. Whatever's meant to be is meant to be, that kind of thing. Somebody is making a conscious change to just go with it. I'm going to go with it. Instead of, you know, judging you know, always judging, judging a situation, judging the other person, you know, instead of judging, I'm going to just stop. I'm going to stop judging. Somebody has been overly critical and made another person feel betrayed by their judgments. And it feels, because this is, this is a judgment right here, reverse. It's like being judged incorrectly, being criticized, which has caused an impact on the relationship. Okay, because this is the relationship, the, the romance. But now I want to work together. I, I, want, I want to do whatever it takes to make this work. So, you know, I'm going to uh, find the, the strength within me to just release this and let it go. I'm just going to let it go so that we can work together. I want to work together with you. Um, mm hmm I want to get a couple more cards before I pull those. I want to know if the star card is reversed. This is lack of, of faith. I've lost my faith because I've, I'm, I've been hurt. I, I'm really hurt by this and I've lost my faith. There's been some stress. There's there's been the inability to see the truth, the reality of this, of somebody else's reality. You know, I don't, I don't, I've been blocking the truth. I've been avoiding this. Somebody has been trying to, and it's been causing them anxiety and depression by avoiding the true, the truth is, is that it's all in your head. You know what I mean? The truth is, is that you have the ability to change your thoughts. You have your ability to work together. You have the ability to see a new reality. You have the ability to... Stop resisting change. Somebody has been avoiding the truth that it was them, them. I'm sorry to give you that message. But that's what it is. That's the ultimate betrayal. The ultimate betrayal is when that you don't have faith enough in yourself to accept the truth of reality, whatever this reality is. 
somebody is hasn't wanted to accept the reality of a situation and they, the fact of the matter is is they have to somebody is being torn between two relationships as well two partnerships being torn and now they have to make a very difficult decision to free themselves from this their own betrayal you know their own betrayal of not choosing you have to choose you have to choose between two i think there's a choice between two two people here for some of you and I know this is changing up the reading, but for some of you, because here we have the two, there we have the three, and there's making a conscious change. Whereas somebody is going to have to make a decision in regard in regards to which way to go. You have to you have to make a decision. This is a card of decision. Somebody may be feeling guilty. And that's why they don't want to accept the truth that they have to. They have to take the blindfold off and and go with what they know the right thing is to do. Because this is this is the strength. The strength is about letting go of a situation. You have to find the strength to do that. The strength and the courage. To stop resisting this change that you know you need to make. Somebody is probably thinking about two options. And criticizing themselves along the way about which way do I go. But the reality is, is that you do have to make a decision. It is time to accept that reality and stop resisting the change. Interesting. Yeah, there's a new beginning here. With, with endings bring new beginnings. Somebody has to release, release one thing so that a new thing can begin. So yes, you do have to make a decision. You do have to make a choice. Something has to go so that you can have this new beginning. So I think today is the day of accepting, accepting the reality, accepting the truth that something, you have to let go of something. You have to go with it. You have to go with your gut. You have to go with your intuition. You have to go with your desires. You have to go with, with where you will find the more, most peace. Because right now, you are not in a peaceful state of mind. There's lack of peace. There is. This mental conflict, this mental turmoil of betrayal, it's your own. It's your own turmoil because you aren't making the decision to follow the reality that you know what it is. You know what this is. You know what you need to do. I know that you do. But it takes strength and courage and confidence to, to release. This is You've got to release something so that you can have true love. Something needs to go. There's a new opportunity for true love here. But in order to get it, you have to let something go. Go with it. Playfulness. Interesting. There's a new beginning here for somebody. Playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of sh to shine. Get out there and have fun. Go with it. Go with the flow. That's playfulness. Be playful. Be open. Be happy. Smile. Just be happy. Just like a free. Making a conscious change to accept what is. It is what it is. Accept it. Go with it. Don't resist it. Stop resisting it. There's no need to hold on to depression and lose sleep over something. Just accept it. 
It's a day of accepting the truth. It is with the moon card. Reversed. It's a day of accepting, finding the strength and the courage to accept the truth and move forward with ease. Somebody it has a new beginning right in front of them that leads to love. But they have to make a conscious change to make a decision to let something go, to let something end first. Dreams. Follow your dreams. Your dreams are probably pushing you. They've been telling you. They've been giving you messages. The message of this card for me is to follow your dreams. Go with it. Stop resisting. That's what I have for today. Talk to you later.